You are watching this video because you are about to have a fine needle aspiration, or FNA, of your thyroid gland. The thyroid gland is a butterfly-shaped organ in your neck. It sits in front of your windpipe, just below the Adam's apple or voice box. The thyroid produces the hormones T4 and T3, which are responsible for regulating your body metabolism or how you use energy. Thyroid hormones also help other organs work properly. Occasionally, people develop problems with their thyroid gland. One of the most common problems is lumps, or nodules, in the thyroid. Most thyroid nodules are benign, or non-cancerous, but at times, a nodule can turn out to be thyroid cancer. You have a greater risk of having thyroid cancer if you have had exposure to neck radiation in the past, or if an immediate family member has thyroid cancer or certain other cancers. The most accurate way of examining thyroid nodules is by ultrasound. Ultrasound is a procedure that uses high-frequency sound waves to produce live images of body tissues and organs. Ultrasound is usually performed by an endocrinologist or by an ultrasound specialist. Although a thyroid ultrasound examination can help determine if a nodule is cancerous, the only way to be sure is to perform a fine needle aspiration, or FNA. The FNA procedure is performed in a room that is equipped with an ultrasound machine. The room provides a private and comfortable setup for both the patient and the doctor. You will lie on the procedure table with your neck extended to the back with a pillow under your shoulder blades. This position can be adjusted to make you comfortable if you are unable to lie flat or extend your neck. Your doctor will confirm the location of the nodule before starting the procedure. The ultrasound probe will also be covered with a special sleeve to maintain cleanliness. The skin over the nodule will be cleaned with alcohol swabs. Your skin will be numbed using a numbing spray or ice to lessen pain during the procedure. You may feel a little pain during the procedure as the needle penetrates the skin. Once the needle goes through the skin, some people experience a little pressure at the neck, the back of the head, or behind the ear. Other than that, most patients do not feel pain. As the FNA begins, your doctor will ask you not to swallow or talk so that your thyroid doesn't move. The doctor will insert the needle through the skin, targeting the thyroid nodule that is seen on the ultrasound screen. The needle that is used is thinner than the needle used when you have a blood test. The needle is inserted for only a few seconds, and then it is taken out. The needle is usually inserted into the nodule two or three times to make sure the doctor has collected a good sample. The doctor obtains sample cells from a thyroid nodule in order to examine them for cancer. In certain conditions, an FNA may be performed on neck lymph nodes for the same reason. Once the procedure is done, you will be asked to remain in the room for a few minutes so that we can be sure that you are feeling well and not having any complications. Then you can go home and you can resume your usual activities after the procedure. The FNA is a very safe procedure, but like any other minimally invasive procedure, there are potential risks. The main risks with the FNA procedure are bleeding at the point where the needle is inserted, skin infection, or injury to vital neck structures such as blood vessels, nerves, or the windpipe. Skin bruising or minor bleeding can occur after the procedure. This will heal over in a few days. Tell your doctor if you are taking any blood thinning medication. In certain situations, and under direct supervision of your doctor, it may be safe to stop the blood thinner before the procedure and start it again afterwards. It is still safe to have the procedure if you are taking low-dose aspirin, but there may be a slight increase in risk of bleeding. We use antiseptic techniques during the procedure to greatly reduce the risk of skin infections. Because we can see where the needle is going by using the ultrasound machine, we can greatly reduce the risk of injury to other neck structures. These complications are rare, and we will take every step to be safe. Your doctor will get the results of your FNA test in two to four working days. He or she will contact you to discuss the result and the plan of action. There are four possible results after an FNA. The first is a benign or non-cancerous nodule. This result is reassuring, but you will still need to have neck ultrasounds in the future to make sure you remain healthy. 
Your doctor will help you set that up. The second possible result is a cancerous nodule. If this is the case, then the entire thyroid has to be removed in order to treat the disease. You will be referred to a surgeon to plan the surgery. Sometimes an FNA result strongly suggests the possibility of cancer, and in that situation, we also recommend surgical removal of your thyroid. The third possible outcome is an uncertain result. In this case, some features of the cells are benign, but others are suspicious for cancer. If this is the result, it is recommended to repeat the FNA in a few months to determine if the nodule is benign or cancerous. The final outcome is an inadequate sample. Even though we take several samples from the nodule, we may still not get enough cells to make a definitive diagnosis. This can also happen when the nodule contains a lot of fluid. If we get an inadequate sample, we will recommend another FNA in a few months. If you choose not to have the FNA procedure, you can have a series of regularly scheduled ultrasounds to watch for any change in size or features of your thyroid nodule. Please note that the ultrasound cannot tell if the nodule is benign or cancerous, while the FNA can distinguish one from the other. Now that you have learned about the FNA procedure, including its benefits, risks, outcomes, and alternatives, it is time to ask your doctor any questions you might have. After that, your doctor will help you to sign the informed consent when you are ready.